Hey guys, welcome to this Hearthstone guide presented to you by Median. Today we're going to talk about how to spend your resources in Hearthstone. I'm Martin Creek and I play for SK Gaming. So first off, after getting all your heroes and all the basic cards for them, you need to start building your collection. This is done by buying card packs or adventures. What I think you should do first is buy some classic packs. Uh, it contains a lot of the uh, good legendaries that you use later on and a lot of the basic cards you use as well later on. In the classic set, there's a lot of cards you want for later on, such as Archmage Antonidas, Tyrion Fordring, Gromash Hellscream and many more. So you want to make sure that you buy a lot of the classic packs. But when you feel like you're done and you want to move on, it's time to look at the adventures. There's currently three adventures, Naxxramas, Blackrock Adventure and uh, League of Explorers. So what I like to start with is Naxxramas. That's the first one and it has a lot of the cards as well that you need later on. For example, there's Mad Scientist, which is used in pretty much every Hunter deck and every Mage deck. It's used in some Paladin as well, but we don't need to move into that now. The cost of an adventure is 700 gold uh, per wing and there's four wings. So you're gonna have to grind up a bunch of gold first. Make sure you do some research. It takes some time to build a good collection and focusing on a deck is a good start. You can check out SK Gaming's website. There are a lot of good decks and guides which our players have been very successful with. After finding out, simply work towards building the deck you have set in mind. I would recommend a cheap deck to begin with, such as Sulok, which uses cards such as Dark Peddler, Imp Gang Boss, Lothab, and Pilot the Treader. After finishing a cheap deck such as Sulok, you can start working towards building a more high cost uh, deck like Control Warrior, which uses more high cost cards like Sylvanas, Gromash Hellscream, Baron Geddon, and Alexstrasza. A good way to get some extra dust is to use the disenchanting feature. After opening a lot of packs, you will notice that you have a lot of cards and some of them you might not even need. So do some research, see if there's any cards that you can spare away for some extra dust. An example of this is the card Mind Games, which is an epic card that you get 100 dust for disenchanting and nobody really plays it anymore. I hope this video helps you how to prioritize your resources. Make sure you always stay up to date with the meta because it's constantly changing and new cards are always around the corner. So good luck and stay tuned. Make sure you all... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Help me! <laughs> <laughs>